Jewish Family Services NGO given $600 million, almost $1 billion, to facilitate illegal immigration. So the individual that I talked to was a DHS employee. He was the guy that cut the checks to the NGOs. And he's telling me, he's laying it out for me about what this looks like. He cut checks to Jewish Family Services, Catholic Charities, and a couple other. And I said, tell me about, just give me an example. Non-governmental organizations have been used by the CIA to destabilize countries, in this case, the United States. He goes, okay, Jewish Family Services, let me explain how this works. The Jewish Family Services, I said, cut, tell, me, tell me the amount, okay, before you get started. He said, $600 million. And I said, okay, was that two or three years contract? He goes, no, that was like two, three to six months max. This is incredibly almost a billion dollars given to this Ashkenazim organization. This organization, the NGO, then pays itself in several shell NGO organizations that it has set up. This is money laundering. Max. And then he said what was really stunning to me is this is where the money laundering scheme comes in. So he goes, you have Jewish Family Services at the top. He says they have... 50, so let's just say 50 to 100 subcontractors underneath him. The NGO shell companies. After I give them, he's telling me, after I cut that check for $600 million, then those smaller subcontractors that are responsible for food, clothing, housing, whatever that $600 million does not cover or did not cover enough, these subcontractors are shell companies of Jewish Family Services. Those subcontractors call us and say, we need 10 million here, we need 5 million here. And I say, well, do you vet it? Do you? He goes, no, we're in emergency mode. So we cut the checks immediately to him. This is money laundering supported by the Biden administration. Immediately, and he says, but here's where, this is where it gets crazy, JJ. He said, when I cut the checks to the subcontractors, I'm cutting the check to the same payee. I'm sending the same funds to Jewish Family Services, the same account. This is one reason why APAC has so much money to dole out to politicians controlling U.S. elections. So you have Jewish Family Services getting $600 million, but you have 50 to 100 subcontractors that I'm paying, but I'm paying to the same bank account is Jewish Family Services. It's all a lie. Does anyone in the Biden administration care about this illegal activity? It's, it's just all a lie. And I said, okay, well, you, you cut $600 million check. Are you now tracking that to check? And he goes, listen, you have to understand, JJ, nobody's following the money. No one cares. A question of accountability there is none he says you have to understand the federal government created a chaotic situation on the border you have millions of people coming to the border the border patrol dhs cbp fema no one has the resources manpower to move millions of people from the border into america that's where the ngos come in at the top of these non-governmental organizations is the jewish family services the NGOs are the, the movement of people and goods into America. That is the evil partnership between the government and the NGOs.